what is going on guys welcome back to another division 2 build video uh, today's video we're going over another support type build with the status effects so the so there's a few really good status effects um that basically disable the enemy <clears throat> and that's what we're going over today number one being um blinder um uh, blinding the enemy they won't be able to see so they will just kind of stagger around not do too much while you and your team will be able to just hammer them down and uh, get them down before the blind duration even ends. Another really good one is going to be EMP Pulse. That's going to be more for your Black Tusk or any enemies that are using the, those drones. You know, the drones can be quite a pain in the ass to deal with. Um, any of the Warhounds, stuff like that. Um, EMP is going to be great. Another one is going to be the Confuse um, duration. Um, that's going to be found on the... Uh, gunner specialization that has like a, a confused pulse which is like really good has a short cooldown time and you can, can when you're there enemies are confused they act the same way as basically being blinded so let's go over the build so uh, starting with the guns working with the uh everlasting gaze um this is because of the perfect perpetuation um headshots not headshot kills but just headshots in general they're going to um, grant us 50% status effect um, damage and duration to the next status effect you, uh, we apply. So before we like pop out our blinder drone, because we are going to be using the blinder drone, or not the blinder drone, sorry, the blinder firefly, as well as the EMP uh, pulse or the jammer pulse. Like I said, you can switch it to the banshee pulse, which is the confusing um, pulse. Um, you can use that as well if you want to run the gunner. Uh, we're running the uh, survivalist though, so we won't be able to use that. So that's how we're using the EMP, but definitely can switch out. It's not going to matter um, too much on what you decide to use. Just maybe the the type of mission you're going to be in. Um, but yeah, so like we can um, tap someone in the head, get fifty percent more duration for our blinder firefly, and instead of um. A duration of 22 and a half seconds that should raise it to a little bit over 30 seconds to have someone be blind um, the our alternate is just gonna be the pestilence you can run <clears throat> anything you want here I just chose the pestilence because it kind of like applies a, a status effect it doesn't work the same way as a blinding status effect or status effect um, attributes are not gonna um, affect this at all i just have it for more kind of like status effects kind of thing going on with this whole build but feel free to use what you want to use sidearm doesn't really matter we're not really using it um the survivalist specialization because of the incendiary grenade again <clears throat> just another good status effect and the incendiary grenade has a really large uh radius um that affects enemies and one of our talents we're going to be using a you um extends this radius so we got a one piece uh going gear mass um this the one piece grants us 10 percent status effects and we have status effects and skill damage on ours preferably you want that skill haste um instead of the skill damage and then we also have the skill haste for the uh mod uh going down to our chest piece we are running a two-piece wyvern this is um the first um, piece of wyvern um, this for the talent we're going to be using mad bomber this is where it's going to increase our grenade radius to 50 percent and anything on um, the or anyone we kill with our grenade is going to our grenade is going to be refunded to us which is going to be important when i go over the backpack also grenades can be cooked so enemies that run out of your radius when you throw it because it's you know long fuse time and they can dip out of there um, this will help that you can hold the grenade in your hand for like <clears throat> one or two seconds before throwing it depending on how far of a distance you need to throw it and that will help you actually hit the enemy and cause those burns our <clears throat> holster is going to be a non-brand set improvised holster um, this is because there's not really another piece i wanted to add to this build but with the improvised holster i can add on a uh, a mod slot there so I got status effects, skill haste, and then with the mod, more skill haste with uh, this holster. 
And the improvised holster you can just craft at your crafting bench. Um, these don't actually drop, I don't believe. I've never seen one drop before, but you can just craft one at your bench. Our second piece of wyvern is our knee pads. Um, status effect skill haste. You just want status effect skill haste on everything that you can possibly get. Um, with our gloves, we got a one piece handy you for the um, one piece bonus of skill haste. Again, st skill haste status effects. And then our backpack is our exotic um, Acosta's go bag. So this is really cool in a couple ways. One is the main talent. The one in the hand damaging an enemy with a grenade, which is actually false. You just have to throw a grenade and it will activate the one in the hand skill. Is we get a plus one skill tier for 15 seconds, or if we, it will grant overcharge if we already have um, skill tier six. So we already have skill tier six. So we're going to be getting that overcharge. Now, the other talent, two in the bag, we get um, plus three grenades. We get, um, and we get another 10% status effects. Those two things are going to be like our main thing that we care about for this build. Um, the 10% status effects and the grenades so we can toss more grenades and activate that overcharge more as well as having a chance to get those back with the Mad Bomber. So that is the main build. So let's go over it and show you guys what this is doing. So we can go ahead and get a headshot there. Activate Perpetuation. Just with a blinder drone, just tag some people, toss it out, and all those guys, look how long that status effect is lasting. All this time, those status effects, they can't do anything to you and your team. Obviously, I'm not killing them that fast. We aren't, this is a heroic difficulty. But I won't be doing the damage to them. Um, because I'm not a damage dealer, but all my teammates will be able to do that damage. And before they're even done being blind, I already have my drone or my, uh, firefly back. Blind them some more. And we got a 14 second cooldown on our, uh, blinder drone. Um, so now we can, if we toss a grenade out, huge radius for that, um, fire incendiary grenade. Setting that whole area on fire, which is going to be amazing. Now we got our um, skill activated for exotics. As you can tell, how big that EMP pulse is. Basically, we'll definitely EMP and take down any skill that is in the room, which is going to be great. Um, you know, those uh, the healer um, support stations, anything like that, turrets, anything like anything like that is going to be taken out. But yeah, that's uh, pretty much the build. It's definitely a support build. Definitely better to run it in a group rather than solo because you're not going to be doing much damage solo. Um, but yeah, awesome build to uh, use um, to help out your team and help out your DPSers. If you don't have DPSers, it's not going to be a super great build because you know not going to be killing much. So definitely make sure you guys have at least two of those guys in your group. But anyway, that's it for this build. Hope you guys like it. Leave a like, comment. Let me know if I can, how I can make these videos better. And I'll see you guys in the next one.